What's up everyone, Damien here for RitiMonkey.wordpress.com Thank you for joining me in this new video with uh, the Fujifilm X-T1 um, In today's video, uh, topic of the day is uh, UHS-1 SD card versus UHS-2 SD card Now obviously the latter is supposed to be uh, faster than uh, the UHS-1 card but you know that's only the theory uh, Let's check today uh, how much uh, difference there is in a real life situation um, to do that, I've set up a little experience uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, the camera in uh, continuous high burst mode uh, and I'm going to shoot at uh, Tony Chopper during a 5 second burst. After those 5 seconds, uh, I'm going to release the shutter and there will be a little light blinking on the back of the camera uh, that basically indicates how long it takes for the camera to write all those images that have been stored in the buffer down into the memory card. Okay, so we're gonna do that once with the UHS-1 card and once again with the UHS-2 card. Uh, the UHS-2 card should be much faster, so we should have a, a faster writing time. But uh, as I said, uh, we're here to check in real life how uh, this happens, so let's get started. Alright, so let's get started with uh, the first of our tests. So for this one we're using a UHS-1 uh, SD card. I've set everything on the camera in manual, uh, shutter speed, aperture uh, and focus, and ob obviously ISO as well, uh, just to make sure uh, we don't get tricked by you know, uh, metering or focus happening during the burst shot, uh, and then uh, this could uh, potentially have some impact on, uh, on our test. So I'm just gonna uh, quickly Check the focus here. Here we go. And I'm gonna fire a five second a burst. And after five seconds, I'm gonna uh, stop pressing the shutter. And we're gonna see how long it takes for the camera to uh, write all those images uh, into the SD card. Okay? So uh, one, two, and three. Alright, so blinking. Still blinking. Alright, so it took around 20 seconds uh, for the uh, XT1 uh, to write down all the uh, images it has in its buffer after 5 seconds uh, into the memory card. Alright, so I'm gonna change the SD card right now. Uh, I'm gonna replace this uh, UHS-1 SD card with a, a UHS-2 card and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Alright, so here we are. So let's get ready and one, two, three. Okay, so that's five second burst and let's see how long it takes uh, until the light on the back stops blinking. Boom. All right. Um, around 15, uh, 15 seconds. Um, versus uh, 20 seconds that we had for uh, the UHS-1 card. So there you have it, 15 seconds for the UHS-2 cards versus uh, 20 seconds for the UHS-1 card, uh, which is basically around 25% uh, faster if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's definitely a nice improvement, maybe not as nice at, as what we might have thought looking at the specs of the UHS-2 cards. Uh, but, you know, please share your thoughts uh, below in the comments uh, of this video. You know, do you think this improvement is nice enough or are you uh, a little bit disappointed? You know, um, I don't have any strong thought on that. So, uh, please share whatever it is you think about it in the comments below. I'll be putting up some other videos about the Fujifilm X-T1, uh, you know, uh, pretty soon. Uh, so, leave me a comment below uh, if there is something very specific you want to see. 
uh, and I'll try to uh, do uh, whatever I can basically to answer your, your questions. Meanwhile, uh, thanks again for joining me today in this video. I uh, appreciate uh, you guys are uh, viewing those uh, and uh, uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Until then, take care.